What's up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of House Party, a Big Brother podcast. I'm Andrew Cox, joined always by Ryan Duvall. Hey, hey. And we've got a special episode for you tonight. It's our after party where we'll be going over all our thoughts on this entire inaugural season of Celebrity Big Brother. And we have a special guest of honor at this party, Mr. Judd Darty. Judd, Judd's welcome back. Dead. Greetings, guys. How y'all doing? <laughs> doing good. Well. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Well, let's begin. Uh, Judd, you got caught up with the season since the last time we spoke to you. So I, yeah, like, I it was to- a lot. Those episodes were super long. I mean, a lot longer than I <clears throat> planned on, you know, but like I fit them all in. It was a lot better than I thought. And even though I knew like what was going to happen because you guys, <laughs> I still enjoyed it a lot. Hey, you asked to be spoiled. <laughs> yeah, Something yeah. On yeah. yourself. Yeah, and I, I watched it all still. You know, I did skip a few competitions. <laughs> understandable, understandable. Um, but that being said, I'm curious what what were your favorite moments of this short shortened season? You know, I liked a lot of it. I really like enjoyed a lot of Omarosa and actually Brandy too. And I thought she'd be a lot more annoying. <laughs> like I really did. I didn't think I would like her at all. But um, she was she was a lot cooler than I thought. I really liked Meta. Like that might not be popular, but I mean, like I know like the vote or whatever that pissed a few people off. I think, but um. I really liked him. I thought that was really funny because, like, I think it's funny when people get pissed if it's not important. So I just, like, pictured, like, a bunch of social justice warrior, like, videos, you know, of, like, you know, the, like, person they show screaming or whatever. Not important, though. That's the vote. That determines the winner. I know, but, I mean, it's not, like, laugh or death, but you know what I mean? Like, I think it's so funny when people are pissed, but, like, even if I'm pissed myself, like, just knowing somebody else is pissed, it makes me like laugh. I can't help it. So I just like thought of that while he did that. <laughs> even Julie was like, Julie was even pissed, wasn't she? I think she was shocked more than anything. What did she, I don't know? What did she say though? It was funny. Um, I'm not sure. I think she tried to play it off as a joke. But Andrew, what what did you say? Did you do you think that he actually voted randomly, or he was just said that? Hell yeah, I do. I think. What do you What do you think? I mean, I think he was going to vote for Ross anyway, or that's what I would have thought that he was going to do. But maybe he he did just kind of close his eyes and pick one. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I just wasn't really paying attention. But I, I thought that he did that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if if he actually was random. I mean, I think my opinion changed during that process because I think we already thought we knew what the outcome would be and then Mm -hmm. midway through of that vote I realized that maybe maybe it's not a safe bet as I thought it was (laughs) yeah I mean but Julie had a good answer about it you know like I just heard like maybe it was an interview or something. She was just like, well, I guess that's, it was with Aka. That's what it was. I watched her interview with Aka. And did you guys see that? Yeah. I, I just watched him a little bit yeah, ago. Yeah. She was like, what was it? She said like the reason. She said uh, basically that, um, like that's the game. Like, you know, you have to take people's, like emotions into consideration and it's all about ego and how you made them feel. So they're going to be thinking about themselves when they're voting. And, you know, someone like Shannon who Ross pissed off, like he's going to, she's going to vote, you know, however she wants. I mean, I know this like format's a little different and everything, but they kind of talked like it was like happening a lot more and stuff. Do you think like, new contestants like learning from all these previous seasons it's like really changing the like how the game evolves or whatever like a lot more like now because there have been so many seasons or do you think it's just because this is like I think a celebrity version they don't give a shit <laughs> no I think with anything there's a learning um, pattern that happens after so long I mean this is 
arguably the 21st season of um, American Big Brother, so they have plenty to base it off of. So I'm sure after a while, there's no more tricks up anyone's sleeves anymore. Right. It's like it makes the game harder each season, you know, like even if the players are really good, it gets harder because they're running out of ideas of like things that don't, you know, like somebody could do something and they'd be like, oh, he's having like a funeral like Dan had, you know, like shut up, you know, like that's how people are. And like, you know, then they, they try to do those things they've seen on other seasons. People pick up on it really easily. Like nobody's that stupid, but, um, Makes them run out of ideas, I feel like. But that just leads to innovation. Like you said, the, the whole Dan funeral thing, I would have never thought of that. If I was in his position, I think I probably would have just killed right. over at that point. Yeah. But look at him. He made yeah, it through. Yeah, but like now people, if they want to like try to do some little trick like that, they always look so suspicious, you know? Like he played it off great, you know? But... Now everybody's like more paranoid and looks for things, I feel like. So I feel like, do you guys feel like that people play a little bit more safe and stuff? Like on the celebrity version? Well, um, so yeah, this is uh, it's something I was thinking about. And this was a clip I took out that from uh, Ica's interview with uh, Brandy. You voted for Ross? I did. Why did you vote for Ross? Because I think that people are taking this too seriously. It's a game. And he played the best game in the house. And it's not personal. It's not like, oh, you lied to me. Guess what? That's the game you're supposed to lie. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. And if myself, I'm a friend of his outside of the house, and I'm but like, if I'm not taking it personally. People that just met him shouldn't be taking it personally. And then like right after that, she said that um, basically that because it was the celebrity edition, you know, people were they were always like worried about their image. Right in the house all the time, and how they were going to be perceived, and so I think right. that came into the vote a little bit, you know. Especially with the women's alliance, if they, you know, didn't vote, maybe if they felt like if they didn't vote for the woman, then after they had talked up the alliance the whole time, and like getting a win for a woman, then maybe oh, they were worried about how that would look. Yeah, I don't know though. It's yeah. just like. Yeah. They have to see, like, how popular Ross is, though. I mean, like, he's very well-liked. But, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, I, I agree with that 100%. And I agree with Brandy. However, like, everyone's different. I'm a uh, bitter shit juror, like, for sure. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I would vote for who I'm friends with. Like, you know, just talking about it, like, it sounds better to say, no, I'll vote for the best game. But when it came down to it, like, if Brandy and Ross weren't friends, like, I think it might have changed things for her, especially, you know, uh, maybe not for a stronger player. But I mean, she's a smart player. And like when she says that, um, I mean, not the smartest, but anyways, but whenever she says that you have to lie, you don't have to lie. I mean, that's uh, there's like so many different directions you can take it. You really don't have to lie. Like, I feel like a lot of people go out of their way to be schemy and lie for no reason like lie if you need to but don't just fucking go around being a psychopath like making up lies and drama i feel like people do that every fucking season i remember on 17 like austin was doing this shit to the fucking like i think it all started with the twins or something and i think uh shelly said it best when she's like nobody can just chill and have an alliance somebody always has to run around and screw it up and um it's it's just like that on Every season, it's just so annoying when people just make drama and, like, lie for no reason. So, I mean, there's different styles. I mean, that's a respectable game, too, but there's lots of different respectable games and ways the game can be played. One strategy, like, everyone doesn't have to agree. And, like, every everybody plays different strategies better or worse than each other. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's more of a... Uh a fan service type thing, um, you know, being in the house that the person who can cause the most drama, the most watchable television is the person that you're most likely going to root for, um, in my opinion. Because if someone is in the house causing drama, it's making me want yeah. to watch. I would personally want that person to stay longer because 
they're making it more interesting for me. So I, I can see that, like, obviously maybe you can um, agree with me that, you know, being inside the house, maybe you're th- constantly thinking, should I do what I sh- want to do or should I do what I think people want to see? Yeah, I mean, if you're wanting to play to win the money or play for America's favorite is what that comes down to. And, you know, like like I said, like everybody has a different style that works for them. Like it doesn't work for me really good to be like a villain in that in that type of like environment. And it all depends on the people you're also playing with, you know, because like different people react to different things and personality is different. So, I mean, I'm just saying basically that that's not the right way to play the game because there's not really a right way to play it, you know, because like I just hear people say, oh, you have to lie and scheme. That's the only way you can play. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm just saying don't go out of your way and just make random drama. I feel like those people just make targets of themselves. I just think of people like Amanda and stuff that are just like drama mania, but, you know, they don't go out of their way, you know, to fuck their game up that bad, like unrepairable, you know, just for no reason. Um, I feel like that's what, if you're just playing for America's favorite, you don't care to do that. Like, just be as reckless as you want because it doesn't matter. You're only playing for the 25000 But if you're playing for that million, like, so, I don't know, it works for Evil Dick, but it doesn't work very often. You know? Speaking of dramatic plays, uh, what moves this season did you appreciate that were made? Oh, that's a hard one. I mean, just anything when people switch it off, and that happened a lot, like, I got you silent. Oh, no, no. Go on. I, I'm sorry. I just anything like that switches things up. Like, I don't even care if it fucks over the people that I like. You know, if something switches in the game or, you know, somebody screws over, like, what you think is going to happen, basically. I really enjoy moments like that. And that happened a lot this season. You know, I like it just gives you something to be excited for, even if it's not like what you want to happen. If it's just like it just gets boring if it's just the same more repetitive stuff. So I think this season was good on that. What do you think? Oh yeah. Personally, I think I mean, even up until eviction night, you could never know who exactly would go home because people who. You know, you thought were a shoe in to leave, you know, someone's breast milk would be depleting or someone missed their family and weird stuff like that to where anybody was a toss up. Anyone could have gone home at any time uh, other than, you know, a gameplay standpoint. It was just more uh, emotion than usual. I don't know, but like, is that a good thing? I mean, it's not necessarily a good thing, but it also keeps, uh, you know, it it's not a for sure thing like it would be like last season. I could have told you who the oh top God. five was going to be. Yeah. So like early on. Pace. Yeah, exactly. That was like a cult though. Like bizarre shit ever. Wait, Josh won that shit. <laughs> for, like what? Yeah. I was not a Josh fan, but when it was him and Paul, I was certainly rooting for him. Yeah. That's really like ironic how that worked out. Like, I don't know. Never mind. I'm not going to go down that direction. <laughs> but That's a whole other episode right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting into anything like that. But, um, yeah, I, I really like that. Like, this season was exciting like that because, you know, like I said, even when stuff happened that I really didn't like, even, like, with the vote at the end, I think, like, I know I expected Ross to just, like, win, like, hands down. I didn't really think about it. And then, I was like, oh, they, they, you know, they're voting a lot different than I thought. Like, I just thought Ross played, like, a clearly better game, and they'd be like, oh, let's vote for him for the better game. Like Brandy said, you know, but, you know, I don't think Ross was, like, that bad either. Like, he wasn't just, like, running around starting drama for no reason. Like, everything I said, like, I didn't mean Ross because I didn't even really look at him as a villain at all. No, exactly, and – I kind of felt bad for him when he had to ask uh, the person next to him and said, did I get the villain at it? I mean, did people think that I was the bad guy? And uh, luckily not because he did win the viewer favorite. So he didn't leave empty handed. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I mean, like, I feel like even in everyday life, we lie a few times. Like, <laughs> I know I do all the fucking time. Like, if it's, like, not a big deal, like, I'll say a few lies. And I feel like that's kind of like what Ross did. Like, like that's the kind of lies he told. He didn't run around, like, starting shit kind of lies like that bad. So that, I guess that's why I'm, he's so rootable, I felt like, you know, because there's that, and then he's just, like, super nice and shit. He's, like, the perfect type of person to play the game. And I was really impressed with, like, how he was in competitions. Like, I underestimated him with that. And I really underestimated um, Ariana. Oh, yeah. Did I say that? Is that really her name, Ariana? There's a D in there, the, a D before the N. Adriana? Ari Odd. No. Um, what the hell? I don't know. Yeah, it, anyway, took me, it took me forever to. You should see the first episode of this podcast. I couldn't do it. Andrew had to do it for me. <laughs> I can't say her name. Uh, Miss Columbia. I was really impressed with her. I mean, she kind of didn't. I feel like she really didn't give a shit at the end, you know. But um, all during the game, she was a lot more strategic than I thought, and she's just like really like intuitive. I don't know. I was really impressed. Shannon out of the house. Come on. Oh my god, the biggest threat ever. She's the best player. I mean she she was the best player. Yeah, I mean she got Shannon out, but I don't think Shannon was I, really as good of a no, player as they kept on no, saying. That was the strangest thing how they kept building her up. I mean, if she if she was such a good player, she wouldn't have been out uh you know she as early as she was. She, she thinks because she's watched every season, so it's like on most but anyways like that that just makes – and, you know, that she's friends with, like, Dan and Derek, whoever, like, probably, you know, got, like, little st- strategic ideas from – like, that doesn't make you a good player. Like, it's not like you deserve to win because you have – you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's kind of how she was. Like, she's pissed that she didn't get what she deserved almost. Like, I mean, I know she's probably not thinking of it that serious. <laughs> but, um – Well, part, part of being a good player is knowing your pace. And she obviously just went zero to a hundred as soon as she stepped inside, and that put a target on her real quick. Had she have just played, you know, in the yeah. shadows a little more, she could have easily made it to the finale because she, you know, obviously she was good. But if you can't control, then no, you're. That's part of playing the game, and that's where exactly. she exactly. And I feel like she got worse after she was out of the house you know um i don't know like even at the finale and stuff like i don't know kind of like I, I wouldn't go far to say poor sportsmanship but Grudge. i would say it's kind of flirting with that <laughs> yeah because uh she was you know when she was being interviewed with Ika, she was Ika was laying on some some tough questions Ooh. like uh why couldn't you take your own advice and it's just a game um, it is just a game, but there's different ways you can play the game, and there's ways you can play it and win with integrity, and I respect that a little bit more than than what I saw some people doing. Like, I got a... Oh, please. She so actually she- he did something so <laughs> terrible. I mean, her being such a fan of the show, she should respect his game a lot more. I mean, I'm not saying that she has to feel that way, like I said earlier. You know, I agree with what she says, just like I agree with what Brandy says, but I also disagree for the same exact reasons, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, I mean... Like, it's... Yeah, you can play with integrity, but that doesn't mean that's the right way to play it. You know, like, and her being a fan, she should kind of know that. Like, there's so many different ways you can play it. You know, she knows he didn't do anything that bad. Like, I've seen people who, like, cutthroat a lot worse... Then she got it. Well, I guarantee you she wouldn't have that opinion if it happened to someone else. Exactly. She would be telling them, just calm down. That's a good gameplay. Like, they wouldn't have done that if you weren't a big threat. So you should look at it as a compliment. That's what she'd be saying. Yep. And part of it is, you know, being an actress, I think the drama seems to follow her. I mean, like, she was like, had a scene in a movie that, I don't know, like, <laughs> never mind. Well, what she said was... I mean, people act like she's fucking, like, Audrey Hepburn or something. Like, really? <laughs> she was in... I don't know. I'm not trying to disrespect him, but it's just, like... I don't think she was, like, playing it like that. I think she was, like, playing it like... A Big Brother fan and, like, a, you know, a fan of the game, not, like, a 
you know what I'm saying, and not like an actress. I don't think she was using that as her strategy because, like, I don't know. I, she lives in South Africa and stuff. I don't think she's, like, filming that much and stuff. She's probably not, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not discrediting her at all, but I'm just saying I don't think that was, like, a big part of her strategy. I think she was just going to play, like, how she thought the game should be played, you know. That's what she thought, and I think she's just really disappointed that it didn't work out that way, but that's the thing. Like, each cast brings a different dynamic, and, like, what works for certain people don't work for everyone, you know? Exactly. Like, like these people aren't going to just be fooled because she's so brilliant, you know? Like, she has to get more articulate with that brilliance and not just, like, I don't know. It just snuck up on her. I understand, but... I'm not trying to discredit her, but I don't think that was like her strategy. Because I just keep hearing a lot, like, I mean, not not just from you, but like I've seen on Twitter and stuff like actors, but like around that time, I'm like, I don't think that's like how she's approaching this, you know? That's just my opinion, though. She might be. Like, I don't watch, like, the interviews. I don't follow a lot of them on Twitter. Like, I don't really care, like, after the fact, you know? Like, what they say. So I'm glad that I heard the interview, though, because I is the best. <laughs> Going off that, Andrew, what was your favorite uh, move of the season? Favorite Favorite move? game move that was made? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. A lot of what I would have said were my favorite moves were the ones that kind of got, like, squandered. Yeah. So I would have really enjoyed if she had actually, if Shannon had actually gotten backdoored yeah. um, on Ross's <laughs> HOH yeah. like they were planning. But that didn't happen. So what do you think? Do you think she was a sore sport? I just I don't know. I, I'm not trying to like. I feel like I'm talking like I don't like her, and I don't really feel that passionate about it. So I don't want to like give anybody the wrong idea here. But I do feel like she was kind of a poor sport about the whole deal. Like I'm not trying to go back on that too big. But am I wrong about that? I'm just wanting your, y'all's opinion. Well, well, like like you said, I, the word disappointed is kind yeah. of what I would use. I think she would just kind of like upset with the way that it went out because what she had said with when she was talking to Aiko was basically that the what bothered her the most after she left and when she went and watched it was that whole plan to get her out on Ross's HOH that, that she was going to be back doored and she had no idea about it um and to me and because she had thrown that or she had told James to throw that HOH to Ross and so she was hurt that he, she helped him get there and then he was going to backdoor her but i'm like you know that's a that's ultimately on you for you know exactly trusting him enough to give him the hoh and when after you've already won two competitions i mean you're clearly a threat like if you're that comfortable with it i mean it's it's your fault ultimately so i think she was just a little taken aback by she underestimated people i think right yeah like yeah, because there was a lot more fans than I thought there would be. Like, I figured that most of them wouldn't know the game at all, and like a lot more of them did than I thought. Like, I think when we did the other one, and I'd only seen a few of the episodes, I really thought that a lot of them were exactly like meta, you know. And <laughs> can you imagine a season full of metas, though? I mean, no, we'll no see, one would know how to get thought. anything done. Well, see, I would see stuff on Twitter without, like, seeing episodes and it's just, like, people's opinions. So I was kind of, like, thinking of everyone like that. And I guess because if somebody said something about when they go home, people, you know how people do um, on Twitter. Like, taking it for real and, like, you know, but everybody says that shit sometimes. I feel like, like oh, I just want to go home. Meaning, like, they want to get the fuck out of that little space for a little bit and eat whatever they want. <laughs> Well, for some people, it, it meant leaving because, I mean, from episode one, I'll go back to, to Meta. Mm-hmm. Meta wanted to leave. And then for a short period, he was fine. Nothing was said. And then all of a sudden, he couldn't take it anymore and had to leave. And that, for me, was probably my least favorite move because what I thought was a safe bet of him getting to the finale were completely blown out of the water because he couldn't stand to stay in that house for six more days for the money. You would think that they had been in there for seven months. I know this. I mean, can you imagine if they were in for a regular season, you give them 90 days, 
now. They oh could, God. Yeah. It's too long, though. Like, I'm not just saying that because, like, oh, it's just so hard to be in there for so long for them. I'm just saying, like, it kind of gets, like, I kind of lose a little bit more interest than I used to. And I think that might be why, because I think of, like, the older seasons, like, they were, like, 70-something days. And I really like the older seasons a lot more. And, um, I, you know, I'm thinking of, like, 10, you know, some of my favorites, like, back then. And I think it might have to do with, like, it just being longer and me just kind of getting a little more tired of it, you know. I don't know. It might just be me, but I, I got to give it to Meta, though, because he really, like, he took it really good, though. Like, a lot of people would be, like, complaining really hard if they were wanting to go home and, you know, pretty much wanting to walk, you know. So I'm surprised he didn't do that. Like, I mean, if he did, I don't even know about it because, like I said, I don't really keep up with this on Twitter that much. I do, like, you know, if I want to look around for a little spoiler or something, but I don't, like, seek him out that often. So, like, he could have just, like, raised hell. But he kind of, he was kind of like a good sport about it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Well, Andrew and I were talking earlier in a previous episode about um, how that might have something to do with the way that the payment plan was set up for the house guests this season, because um, you know Keisha and Meta both politely asked just to vote out because if there was a walkout, I th- I think we came to the conclusion that they probably wouldn't get the money that was being offered to them right yeah well yeah for sure and it's even like that on a regular season um i'm pretty sure like i it doesn't really happen though you know i don't know anybody that that's happened with so i don't yeah. really know exactly what would happen but that was kind of my impression when i did the show that if i just left like even during jury you, you remember when i said that i wanted to leave like right. that's like a big reason why i did stay and i feel like People leave a lot more. I feel like yeah, that was something. That. Uh, so Brandy, keep that up. <laughs> Make it even. I don't know. Use it even more for like, little, like smaller things. <laughs> I won't be there. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm serious though. Like people doing stuff like <laughs> McRae or somebody was talking about it because I know the other countries do it. Like when people don't have their microphone on and they have to tell them twenty times, like get real. Like after a week, you should have that shit together. Like by the time the feeds are on and stuff, it's kind of like your job. I mean, not really, but I mean, like everybody else shouldn't have to hear that shit all the time. And you know, like I feel like the whole house should be punished for things like that. And that would make people targets and stuff. Like that kind of puts the roommate situation in a little bit more, and you know what I'm saying, and makes that a factor that we don't see a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, that's why we have you. You're our insider. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you guys, do you guys watch the feeds though? Because it's super annoying for like feeders. Uh, I have not watched the feeds, um, but I I will say that I talked to season 13's Will Hauser, and he said that one thing he did when he wanted to get away from the cameras, he didn't want to be. Um, you know, part of the edit, he would just sing. And because, well, that's smart. yeah, because they, CBS doesn't want to pay for the rights to the, whatever song he's singing. Well, they can't, like, they can get in trouble. Exactly. Like, yeah, because if you're watching the feeds, it is annoying because when they start singing or doing something they're not supposed to, they'll be like, please stop singing. And they'll cut away, they'll show something else. Yeah, and it's, and like, it it's like screw. Because they only have four angles or whatever so it's just like half of it will be hogged up because someone wants to sing a song yeah like copyright like that's a bigger deal than you think like so like big brother is like super dangerous because it's live you know and anybody can spout out anything they want i mean like i don't think that i don't know like i don't have a clue like what they would do but i don't think like they would actually get in trouble for that you know they get warned about it because they can't use that but that's actually like a good strategy because I mean the cameras around and stuff like that and getting called to the diary room and stuff that like affects things I remember I don't even want to say ninja or even think of who it was but somebody on my season like at the beginning didn't want to talk about game or alliances or anything like that and I noticed he got called to the diary room like every five seconds you know and I was just like all right something's fucking up like they're not calling him just the ask how 
he's been twiddling his thumbs all day. Like, there's got to be something that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, little things like that you pick up on. So, but I, I, like, I wish I would watch the feeds more with the celebrity version just to, like, look for things like that, you know? But I think as as celebrities, though, they're more used to the cameras, and I don't think that no, would they them as would, much as... You got to think, though, that would give them, like, more of a reason to, like, suspect and stuff if somebody's getting called to the diary room a lot like why are they getting called in there i've been doing a lot more than them like didn't they think this was funny that i did earlier you know what i'm saying like they got bigger egos like they're wondering why they're not getting called in are they not entertaining like i'm just wondering if that was ever like a thing or not like i didn't watch the feeds i wish i had and kept up with hamster watch more and all those i follow so many on twitter it's too much really <laughs> i have a few favorites and i really need I don't know. I'm not gonna get into all that either. But I just really wonder, like, that's why like the feeds are so great. Like, <laughs> I'm sure like you go back and look, but I don't really care that much to go back. You need to be a feeder, feeds do whatever you call. Them. I don't have the patience. I've tried. Yeah, I just I can't do that to myself because I know that that's how I'll spend my whole summer, and I have responsibilities to take care of and. I just can't afford to. Well, you know what? I mean? like, I've tried several times, and I do like. I noticed that I like it more like at the beginning because I don't know who anybody is, and but a lot of times, like, I, I get super bored, you know. But it's not even that, like, because it's always something going on. But like the change of sound, like so drastically, like it'll be super quiet and then loud ass screaming raven like bust your eardrums and you gotta like wake i mean wake up your neighbors every everything like it's like you know because you got your shit turned off because they're whispering and then that shit happens i'm just using raven as an example because like i remember that happening when i watched the feeds last season and it's like that drives me insane like the i don't know and i mean that's really nothing that could be controlled and i guess like people that watch the feeds all the time they probably have like tips for that but i was like watching on roku so annoying. I had to change it because of that. it was like giving me a headache. Um, so I, I told you my least favorite gameplay move. Do you guys have a least favorite or at, le- at least a least favorite moment throughout the season? Mm, the, I, I really want to draw us to win. So that's a big one for me. Yeah. Me as well. I am Omarosa. I really, I really like her, but. I didn't really expect her to win. I was surprised how far she got, actually. I mean, not really, but kind of. I mean, she was a good player. Like, I'm not saying, oh, they did so much to keep her because, you know, I've seen worse. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I really enjoyed Omarosa. Like, she was a lot better than I thought. Like, you know, like as a person, you know, like a lack of, like as a character. Like, I thought she'd be a lot more obnoxious. I think she was doing a little bit of damage control this season. Yeah, I think you're right. But uh, she was also kind of part of my favorite or my my least favorite <laughs> moments. Um, so nuts. it was nuts because she was so magnificent and so dynamic and so awesome. And then she would say these crazy things, and you're like, she is such good TV. Like there's moments where I'd just be watching her, being like, oh, she's just making this up completely but this is such good tv She's like making this up. no there was a moment once where ross and i were talking we we're like we can't vote her out she's such good tv like we want the tv show to be a good show like yeah. we want to be on a hit show yeah. not on like a dumb show yeah. so- I, I i mean she was entertaining amorosa but i don't know a lot of the times the when she would when they would make ask her questions about the politics and all that you know oh, they yeah. all started getting old yeah. Well, yeah, that was, like, the edit, though. Like, I feel like they just showed so much of that. Like, because I guess, though, like, they knew we were expecting that. So for the people that was, like, basically watching the show for that, you know, they wanted to give that to them. That's just my guess. But, yeah, I was so sick of that. I don't like it. That's just, like, I don't know. Why I bring that into the to Big Brother, my God. We have it in everything else, the late night shows. Like, you know, come on, Big Brother. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think it is just a rating thing. Yeah, I mean, that like kind of goes with what I was saying about like the diary room and stuff. Like they noticed that she was playing up a character, you know, and like saying things that just weren't true and stuff. But it was just like, 
brilliant and they didn't want it you know like i guess ross watching the show and i don't know if did she watch the show too um i can't remember her name the winner marissa marissa yeah, yeah. i know her name it's just like i wasn't even being mean i was just like i could not think of it um did she watch the show before i mean like i think she did yes. yes yeah she said she said she was a, a, a fan oh okay yeah i thought so. so see like they knew like I can tell, like, everybody knows these people that put on these fucking characters and they act totally different when no cameras are around or when they don't think anybody's paying attention to them. You know, like, almost anybody that everyone, like, really, really likes puts on a fake character, I feel like. You know, like, you notice stuff like that, like, certain people. And that that sounds how they were. They didn't want the show to suck. You know, they wanted it to, like, Especially for them, that gives them like a lot more pressure. I feel like to have to worry about the ratings and stuff. I, I know I didn't give a shit because <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't like I didn't have like a career in the entertainment business, you know. So why the hell would I care? But they do, you know. Like they want to get other jobs and stuff, and have Big Brother be a good thing on the resume, not just be some trashy reality show that they did. And I think that it worked <laughs> out kind of good, you know, like. I don't think it looks like a trashy reality show like I kind of thought it would be. That being said, if you were to rate this season among all the other seasons, where would you have it? I don't know. It's almost shorter. I feel like that makes the game a lot different because they like kind of had to make moves and stuff faster because it was just like crammed in shorter. But, you know, like super entertaining cast and everything i would put it up there definitely like top 10 for sure top 10 okay yeah yeah top 10 definitely what about you andrew um yeah i mean it was better than i was expecting so um i have issues with it but i probably put it um somewhere in the middle of the pack All right, you know? so you're probably thinking 10 too He's thinking like 11 or 12. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of this earlier, and I was how much I really enjoyed this season. And it's your favorite ever? Not, not my favorite ever. Not my favorite ever. I won't go that far. But I would maybe put up a few notches above 10. I'd say like a safe 8 at least. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, that's that's pretty. I don't know, pretty consistent there. A, a, a lot of <laughs> it's a lot better though. I, I like thought that I would be like, oh, I don't even want to put it with the rest, you know, like, Bleh. and I wasn't like that at all. Like, I really, really liked it, especially better than like this like newer format. Like, ever since like fifteen, like, I'm not just saying like throwing shade on myself or those other people. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's kind of just like being a little different. I don't even know how to explain it. Not like an awful different, but just a little different, you know? And so I kind of thought this would kind of go in like a direction like that. And it was kind of, it kind of reminded me more of the opposite. Like it reminded me of like the older seasons that I liked a lot more. Like where stuff would kind of happen for the first time, you know? It kind of reminded me more of those and I really liked that. And it was refreshing. (sighs) I think something that, I take into account when I'm picking a favorite season is the cast dynamic. And I, I just loved the way that this cast interacted with each other. Um, you know, it wasn't too, um, too much bickering and it wasn't too much kumbaya. It was yeah. just the right amount that I felt that it worked. Yeah. Kind of like why I like 10, but no, 10 was like more, it had more like drama, I feel like, but kind of like Seventeen. I really liked Seventeen. It's like my favorite newer one, and it had like a random dynamic. I feel like with the cast, you know, like they didn't get along just great, but they didn't get along like. I mean, they didn't just like kill each other all the time either. Kind of have you kind of. I, I like whenever people can kind of have that um, Irish way about them, and just kind of like fighting, and then like not having a big full house moment about it, but just kind of like acting normal around each other again and not having to get into it all. You know what I mean? I feel like it's kind of like one of those, like... Move on type things. Yeah, like move on, not dwell on things. Like, I feel like 
17 was kind of like that. I feel like, I don't know. I really liked the 17 cast dynamic. But this one, it, it, they didn't really hold grudge. Maybe she didn't know. I don't know. I keep going back. It sounds like I really don't like her, but I do. It's just, I guess I expected her to be more different about her look at things differently. You know, because, like, I, I just... I just thought that she'd know a lot more. Like I said earlier, I thought that nobody would know anything. Like, they'd all be, like, mad at and just not give a shit, you know. And they did care a lot more. And it was really interesting. Afterwards, a lot of them were just, like, saying how much harder it was than they thought. And you could tell that they genuinely meant that. And that they weren't just saying that for the interview. Because, I don't know, I thought that was really interesting. Well, I personally think that it'll come back for... A second I edition. So. I hope so. Sure. So we all three hope it comes back? Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm hoping so. I can't imagine who the cast will be, but I'm sure. Oh my god, I think it'll be better. Like, oh yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about ratings. I never look at that stuff, but um, I just hope that it did good so we'll get like another good cast because I hope that it just stays where it's not like trashy reality show and just like a good show and i feel like that's how it was a good show like like you said not too much of uh drama but just enough so it's good enough for like families and shit <laughs> nothing too deep i hate that i hate something too deep that takes away from everything you know like and then you feel bad like if something you know if somebody gets voted out or, you know like they get to play that sympathy card whether you agree with it or not you know I'm glad that it wasn't a bunch of that shit. Was it? I didn't. I didn't think so. Yeah. No. I. I think. I think they found a good middle ground. All of that. Yeah. I mean, nobody's leaving like suing each other yeah. and stuff, and I kind of like expected that kind of shit a little bit more. <sighs> Anything else to add, guys? Buy my new single. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't have a single. <laughs> well Judd we appreciate you coming back and joining us again And I appreciate y'all we'll be... having me hopefully um, there'll be a new season soon sooner oh, yeah. than later yeah. and well you know the regular one but I'm looking more forward to more celebrities I think that'd be cool one thing that we can all agree on is that this celeb season was, was a very fresh take on a now old series i mean we're getting 20 years that's doing pretty well so uh with that i'll say we'll close the show and obviously we'll be back whenever the next season comes up 